Hi students, just want to help you get started with your beady neuron. It's Mrs. Bowles and this is what we're going to be working on. You're definitely going to want to pick out the beads from your container. You're going to need 42 of one color, that's going to make your dendrites. You need nine beads that are going to make up the cell body. Uh, choosing one different bead for the nucleus of your cell, your neuron. And 12 are going to be your axon. And then when you get down to the end here, one bead that's a different color for your axon terminal, or maybe even a branch of several different ones at the end here. The directions for how to do it are here, but I just want to help you get started. Sometimes students struggle with these first couple steps, and then once they have the hang of it, it's usually pretty easy. So let me show you how to get started. First, you need one uh, grouping of six beads of your 42 color. So whatever color you're going to use for your dendrites. So for me, um, I have for myself uh, purple. So I'm going to use my purple beads here. So what you do is you take your purple beads and you put six of them on your string. Then you skip the end one and go back through the other five with your string. This makes your first dendrite. And then what you do is go ahead and move all the way up to the end of your string, match up the two ends here, and then just pull down here until it's even, and pull all the way down here, and you've made your first dendrite. So when you look at this end, you're holding these, and here is your first set of dendrites. Then what you're gonna do is take two beads of your next color, which should represent, let me close this off real quick here. It should represent, the next two are gonna represent right here, which is your soma color. So in my case, if my soma color is going to be yellow, then what I'm gonna to wanna to show is this. Let me pull this up for you guys to see. So you take your six, and then at the end, you feed two of your soma color onto the end of the string and pull it over. And then what you do is you go through them. Here, I'll undo this so you can get a feel for what I'm talking about. Should have had this ready. So you put two on one string and then you come back through those same two from the other side, the opposite side of where you threaded. So I'm gonna thread back through them. And then what you do is you pull all the way down with your two strings, so grab them both like this, and pull all the way down. And when you pull it all the way down, you just need to make it perpendicular. So keep pulling and moving until those two beads are perpendicular. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to take the same thing you did here. You're going to take six of your purple and you're going to put them on one of your strings. And then just like we did before, you're going to skip one at the end and come back through the other five and tighten it down all the way down here. If you want, I can try to show you that real quick. Here are my six. So I'm going to take my six of my dendrite color and I'm going to feed them onto my string, just like this. Okay, It's a little bit slow, but I'll get to it. Keep feeding them on to your, to your end. And then you're going to skip the end one. See how I let it go there? And then go back through the other five. Back through the other five. Until you get them all. And then what you're going to do is you're going to snug this all the way down to here. So the way to do that is to pull on the end and let the string flow through until it gets all the way down to the end like this. And then tighten it up, pulling from the end, tighten it up until you get it all the way down to the end where you want it to be. And then you're going to do that same thing on this end. You're going to put six of your purples on here. You're going to get them on the string, skip the end one, pull it all the way back, and you're going to just keep working until you get to the end of the body. So 
two dendrites, and then now you're going to do three, and those three are going to include your nucleus, two more dendrites, three, two more dendrites, two, and then when you do your axon terminal, you're just going to go through them as you did before until you get to the end. At the end, you can choose a different color for your axon terminal, and that's pretty much how it goes, everyone. Good luck with your BD neuron. And once you get finished with your beating neuron, what you're going to do next is you're going to be complete competing or working on the neuron challenge. So you're going to use your beating neuron to go ahead and talk about it. You're going to be learning how an action potential is fired and what occurs during that process. And that's what your beating neuron's for. It's for using it to describe through Flipgrid. All right, good luck with your beating neuron challenge.